Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the Aspect Executor. I do also want to point out two things. Firstly, Blackout version 3 is being worked on and it's going to be out really soon, so stay tuned for that. And secondly, a lot of people ask me how I get this custom background. It's just a Steam application called uh, Wallpaper Engine. Uh, I do it's, I do believe it's paid. I paid around like, I think it was like $2 or $3. But you can go onto a website called Steam Unlocked and you can basically download it for free. Uh, so hopefully that does answer the question. A lot of people do ask me how I get the custom kind of animated wallpapers. So that's where I get them from. It's called the Wallpaper Engine. Uh, you can get it for free through Steam Unlocked. Uh, anyway, so let's get back into the video's topic. So the Aspect Executor, I did try it out. Again, it's another executor that supports OwlHub, DarkHub and a lot of the other scripts which a lot of people do look for um, and it is completely free, it's keyless so that's another positive um, but I do want to mention again I get a lot of people telling me oh when I extract the file how come the exe is missing or, like it's, it's crashing or like you know there's other issues so to fix that all you have to do is go into virus and threat protection go into manage settings and turn this off you can turn it back on at any point um, but if you do turn it back on, there is a chance the aspect is going to get deleted. So you can add it to your exclusions folder basically by doing this. If I go into manage settings, go down, I can click there and I can add the folder to exclusions. So that way, if I do have the antivirus turned on, it's not going to get deleted. Now, if you do have that turned off, but it still gets deleted, then that means you've got another antivirus which you need to find on your PC that may be uh, disabling this but anyway so let's get into the actual showcase uh, so you're gonna need a program called WinRAR that's spelling for WinRAR it's a completely free program you can get it on Windows 7, 8 and 10 I'm not sure exactly about 7 and 8 but I'm sure you can get it uh, I'm not 100% though um, also if you don't have WinRAR you can use any other sort of extracting program um, it doesn't work on Mac, so this is only for Windows, uh, I believe like Windows 7, 8 and 10. Anyway, so to extract it, you're going to right click it and you're going to click on Extract to Aspect. Once you've done that, it's going to create another folder on your desktop that's going to be named Aspect. You're going to double click it and you're going to open this folder. Uh, script, so if you go into here, you can put your own scripts in here so it shows up in the actual script hub within the executor. Uh, auto execute this if you have any script in here it's going to automatically execute it as soon as you inject into the game uh, other folders you can ignore all this and let's actually go into aspect itself so just double click that uh, that is the discord server so if you want to join the discord server if you're having any sort of problems you can go ahead and join their discord server so the ui itself is really similar to zestra uh, I'm not quite sure if it's the same developers that work on it. I'm not 100% sure on that. They don't have, okay, they, I was about to say they don't have Inject. I, I'm, I'm, this is really similar to Zestra. So I'm like 99% sure this is the same. These are the same developers of Zestra. Uh, anyway, so you can see that by default, it does come with these scripts. So if you put any other script in the script hub or the script folder, uh, it's going to show up in here. Or you can put your own scripts in here manually that you want to execute anyway so let's actually test out owl hub like we always do on these executor showcases uh okay so once you go into the game you can press this button right here let's actually look at settings first if you click on settings um and then you've got unlock fps so that's basically if you got more than like 60 hertz monitor it's going to give you more frames usually roblox is capped at around 60 Auto execute, that's going to automatically execute the script that's in your auto execute. Auto attach, that's automatically going to attach so you don't have to click inject every time. Topmost, if you turn this on, then you can basically drag another folder across it. And okay, this went into full screen. Um, but you can drag another folder and you can see this is still on the top. However, if I turn that off, then this is on top. Uh, then you go transparency, then you can basically see through it. Uh, turn that off. Clear prompt, I'm not exactly sure what it does. Maybe when it steps out in there. Okay, I have no clue what that does. Uh, drag drop, that's another thing I'm not exactly sure about. I have seen it in other executors, but I'm not quite sure what it does. Anyways, let's close out of settings. And I'm not sure, have I injected? I don't think I have. I'm gonna click inject. And this is the website, so if you wanna check out any other executors, you got Delta over here. 
uh, that we've already showcased. Phyrex, that is another executor that I was looking to showcase. Ube, I've heard it's a really good executor that's coming out. Apparently, it's level 8. <laughs> Apparently. Uh, Sentinel, they've changed the price to 15. I'm not sure, was it 15 before? I feel like it was 10. Uh, but then you've got a Sentinel executor over there. And those are the paid ones. So this one isn't released. This one's paid. Uh, these are all the free ones you can try out if you want to. Uh, but anyways, let's go back to Aspect. Uh, let's try out Owl Hub. So you just click that and then you can click Execute. And there we go. So it is working. That is Owl Hub. A lot of people do request for Owl Hub. And it actually kind of renders my old settings, which I haven't... I don't know if other executors do that. But that was pretty much what I had my settings set to from last time. Uh, and there you go. So we've got our hub working. It is 100% working. Um, I'm sure it supports like all the scripts right now, which is really good. And it's keyless, which again is a really big positive. That's what people look for. They don't really want to, you know, spend like 10 minutes trying to get a new key every day. And yeah, so that's pretty much aspect. Hopefully you liked the video. If you did, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. And as always, thanks for watching.